happy perspective to have. Uh, be, be a part of a group that wants to go out and compete, have fun, and, and win a lot of baseball games. Um, of course, hope they win the last game we play, but you know, new teammates, new memories to be made. And, um, and what better place to do that with a spot like Dodger Stadium, Shabazz Ravine, and this tradition. You know what a championship team looks like from what you've seen from this group and spending time with them out in Arizona. What do you make of this clubhouse? Um, I make it be, as a hungry clubhouse. Uh, you know, for some of the guys that were here last year, the way the season ended, of course, that didn't leave a good taste in their mouths, but also the new additions. Guys wanted to come in and, and not take this opportunity for granted. Playing in this organization, having a fan base, having some support. Um, we have a lot of winners. We have a lot of experience, and it's been fun to see that come together now. And you know, from here on, we get to have fun and keep building on it. And what about for you personally? What are you looking to accomplish this year as you have this opportunity? Yeah. Um, I, Goes without saying, I don't take it for granted. Um, getting out here in the offseason, working with the staff, working with you know, some of the guys on the team already. Uh, but just want to make the most of them. Get better every day, uh, compete. As always, do whatever I can to help my team win. Thank you so much. How does knowing you can be and will be a very important part of the team this year? Well, it's huge. Um, you know, that's, that's why you sign places that you know are trying to win every season, no matter what. You understand there's transition of rosters. Uh, we understand that. You know, there's you know, past, there's present players, of course, in the group that we have today. Uh, front office, it's their job to look at the full scale and, and also look to the future. But day in and day out, I know the Dodgers are trying to do their best to win, and it's nice to have a clubhouse to do that. Is patience one of the keys to being successful? Patience is one of the you know, nice virtues to have in life, I would say. Uh, also comes with you know, some success in baseball. Uh, understanding it's a marathon, not a sprint as far as 162 games. It's a 162 game sprint. I would say you can kind of maybe, you know, right, competitively combine that into a marathon. Um, but again, it's day in and day out, individually and as a group, just trying to get better and so take your wins, take your losses, get better from those and give what we got every day. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. You're responsible for the wine bar, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the? Is there a significance to the that particular vineyard? Well, no, nothing. Nothing in particular. Um, I guess I will say I've had shared and had shared with me a lot of Camus um, over the years. Good, good brand of wine in Napa. Of, of course, respect to them. Um, but in general, just the process and what it takes to make wine. Uh, you know, st start off, uh, you know, knowing that it's going to take time for it to get there to you. There's a bunch of different years that you can have. Some say the, the longer you wait to open it, of course, the, the better. Uh, some say the, you know, some of them, some brands, some some labels, the sooner you open it, the better. But I know this group, um, you know, we understand it takes time to get where we want to go. And there's a lot of grind in that and in our process. But at the end of the day, there's positivity um, at the end of that process. And that's just something I wanted to give these guys to start while we had a clean slate um, today here in March and, and wish them the best into the season. But throughout this grind, you know, we got to have that positivity. Is there something you do in Chicago? Just, I wouldn't say one. Just, there's a, a number of things uh, right to be done. Um, you know, every every year is different. Every group's different, and um, just want these guys to have that for me today. Did this one get Dave's stamp of approval? I actually gave Dave a different one. Okay. I gave Dave a different bottle of wine because I know he's a connoisseur and he has his own label. Um, so I wanted him to have that. And he very quickly gave me a response to that <laughs> with another nice bottle okay. of wine. So, uh, so that was to me just, it felt fitting for this group. Um, you know, a lot of guys, uh, some people first opening days here, of course myself, 14, um, Kirsch been around and, and doing it. Um, guys in between you know, have, have seen a lot of winning baseball and why not you know bring that together bring the group together and, and remind them we got to have that positivity and good vibes.